So, <laughs> talk about being bored with fragrances. I received one the other day that I'm not bored with at all. As a matter of fact, I quite like it. You wanna know what that fragrance is? Well, meet me on the other side of this intro and I'll tell you all about it. Listen, it's your boy LL Cool Trey or Trey Belafonte, whatever you want to call me. It's cool as long as you call me Trey. Listen, welcome to the channel. Also, if you're watching this video and you have not subbed, what you waiting on, man? What you waiting on, huh? What you waiting on? I mean, I'm the guy you've been looking for, man. I'm your favorite reviewer's favorite reviewer. Just kidding. Seriously, what are you waiting on? Be your boy sub. As my boy Cheapo Depot says, ain't gonna cost you a dime. Ain't gonna cost you a dime to hit the like button. Ain't gonna cost you a dime to hit the sub button. Ain't gonna cost you a dime to share this video. All that stuff is completely, totally free. Speaking of free, my opinion on this is free. So I received a package in the mail the other day from my boy JP Fragrances, JP Frags, partner in crime. Uh, great little young brother, love JP with all my heart, man. Good dude. I received the package. Didn't know what was in the package because we don't talk about this stuff. He just sends. And I just received, so, got the package, opened it up, and what did I receive from the house of YSL? This thing, and we just gonna call it Ooh, U Electric. And let me tell you something. This little blue goodness right here, yes sir, bam. Bam, bring it to you. I was thoroughly impressed with it. And I'm gonna give myself, oh man, that's so sweet. When you smell it, you pick up on the Lanry de Lone, you pick up on the YSL, the home, you pick up on that DNA in it. You pick it up. But then it just kind of goes kind of blue, kind of creamy, a little bit spicy. Very nice fragrance YSL as I bam, bam, hit myself with this. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely not a boring fragrance. Right on time with this. And this is Lanui Delon U Electric. From the house of YSL. Beautiful juice. Wouldn't I spray this on my shirt? Man, oh man, occasions to wear this, let's see. Man, occasions that I would wear this. This would be a nice night out on the town type of scent. I can see this being dressed up. I can see this being dressed down. I can see this being worn that I wore with a nice pair of jeans, some shoes, and a button up. I can see this being worn that I wore with a t-shirt and some jeans and I was going to hang out with the fellas and shoot pool. I could definitely see this as a fall, spring or fall or summer date night type of fragrance. I would not necessarily reach for this in the heat of the day in the summer, but I would definitely wear this um, on a pretty day. It's not a citrusy type of fragrance, but I could definitely see myself rocking this in the winter time during the day when the sun was shining. Cause you gotta understand here in Alabama, our weather is so schizophrenic, um, bipolar rather. It may be 60 degrees on a December day. If the sun comes out, it may get up 55, 60 degrees. So I could definitely see a fragrance like this being worn on a day like that. I could definitely see this being worn on a summertime date night or a fall day, um, a fall date, summer date, spring date, as long as it's in the evening. I think it's an evening type of scent. Or, or if it's in the winter time and it's cooler, then I can see it being worn in the day. I guess I should say it's a cooler weather type of scent. Uh, whether it's spring, summer, winter, or fall, if the weather is around a certain temperature, let's say 
uh, 70 degrees at night, I think it would be just fine. Or 65, 55, 45 degrees during the day and the sun is out, I think it would be just fine. I would not want to wear this in the high heat, I guess is my point. I think if you wear it on a hot day, it may get a little clawing and it may get a little what get away from me. It's just nothing about it to me that says hot summer day. I could see this being a, a, a romantic type of fragrance. I could see this being a sexy type of fragrance, hence why I think it should be worn on a date. Man, it just smells good. Again, it's got some cleanliness to it that I like. It's definitely got just a hint of spice. Nothing over the top, just a hint. I'm not sure what note in it makes it spicy, but it's just a hint of spice in there. A lot of creaminess and just a hint of blue. Man. And it, it smells really, really good, in my opinion. Yep, and I definitely pick up on that Lanoui de Lone DNA, and I definitely pick up on that La Home DNA in it. So it's a little blue, a little gourmandy, a little spicy. Uh, date night, nighttime type of scent. And Lanoui de Lone is a, is a date night fragrance as well. So if it's got that DNA in it, then you, you know, you get what I'm saying. But I was definitely shocked by this fragrance. This is one that I haven't even heard of. So when I got it, I was like, what in the world is this? Of course, I saw the YSL box and I was like, okay. Sprayed it on and I was just like, okay. Now, the problem with this fragrance, the problem that you're gonna have, look at this text message, the problem you're gonna have with every YSL fragrance, performance. Performance. It's not going to be, I can already tell you, it's not going to be a, a, a monster projector or it's not going to be one of those fragrances that just goes for hours on your skin. You'll be lucky to get an hour and a half to maybe hour and 45 minutes of projection out of this. If you're lucky, in the right conditions, on the right skin, you may get five or six hours of longevity, which is par. That's par. I mean, it's not uh, the reinvention of the wheel and it's not anything that's going to just, just, you know, blow you down with his performance but man let me tell you this is one of those fragrances in my opinion and my as you see the smile light up on my face <laughs> this is one of those fragrances in my opinion that if you spray here spray here a little bit here so when you put your arm around uh the opponent huh you know what i'm talking about when you put your arm around the opponent or whether it's this arm whichever arm you're putting around the opponent trying to reel them in I think this is one that they're gonna smell and be like. <laughs> I think it smells good. And I think they're gonna think you smell good. Not a whole lot of alcohol twinge in it. Just a good smelling fragrance. That is not boring. From the house of YSL, one last time. La Nuit de Lone U Electric. And it's electric, guys. Again, big, oh man. That smells like something that I've smelled niche and I can't put my nose on it and I hate when that happens. I hate when it happens. I hate when that happens. Nonetheless, it smells good. It's a good smelling fragrance. One last time, YSL, Lenoui de Lone Electric. And you see the smile on the kid's face. It says it all. Man, I love my cologne collection. I have some bangers in there, some beautiful, beautiful fragrances. Would not trade places with anybody on this earth when it comes to the cologne collection. I know there's some that has more expensive stuff and all kinds of stuff, but I think mine, pound for pound, toe to toe, go, can go up against anybody's out there. That's right, Trey Belafonte said it. His cologne collection is second to none. But anyway, and this is going to be a centerpiece in mind. I cannot wait to have a nice enough occasion to wear that. I uh, just can't wait. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. It's been, I guess, somewhat of a package day. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, please be sure to like, share, and sub. Also, if there are any ideas that you guys want me to do, any video ideas you guys have, leave it in the comments below. If you know anything about this, then we belong to Electric. Also, let me know that as well because this is a new one on me. So any information you have on this fragrance or any sleeper, straight up sleeper bangers that people are not paying attention to, also let me know. 
uh, we can discuss it in the comments below. With that being said, man, I'm going to get off here, edit this video, upload this video, and finish the conversation with my boy, Frag Life, Keith. Because uh, he and I had a very interesting conversation when I stopped to upload this video. So, anyway, I hope y'all are having a great hump day. Tomorrow is Thursday, one step closer to the weekend. Again, YSL, y'all. Sleeper banger. YSL, new electric, man, we do love. <sighs> Nothing else left to say. Belafonte. <laughs>